Clear in Lagos State, the government, through the Office for Disability Affairs, is celebrating over 200 children with fiscal challenges in the state. The agency organized the event as part of activities to specially mark this year's Children's with Special Needs Day with the theme Embracing the Future Generation. The general manager of the agency, Ulu Adam Lairi Ogudairo, said the occasion is designed to give more credence to the policy of inclusiveness by the Lagos State Government where no one is left behind. Parents and stakeholders commend this gesture, which is part of efforts to create awareness and advocacy to ensure priority is given to the health of children with special needs. Today we are celebrating children with special needs in Lagos State. Uh, not much of speeches, not much of talk. It's just for them, as you can see, to come around, get together, have fun. We are doing it today because uh, the, uh, the governor of Lagos State is particular in ensuring that no child is left behind. Bravo to the government. They have been doing great. They have been giving us a sense of belonging. They have, they, are, they have been in every aspect bringing us out of our shell, you know, coming out for everybody to see us and to know that we are very, very important too in the society and that we have a part to play also in the society. So my kind of advice to the government is I would say they should please continue their good deeds. It's an annual event and it's been so wonderful seeing the children dancing, you know, you can see that all of them, they are so happy today. And they have actually been looking forward to this day. Obsolete laws and lack of proper national development policy are some of the factors in debating the increase of value chain in the hospitality and tourism industry in Nigeria. Those were the submissions of experts in the industry at the Hotel Managers Award 2023, where Lagos Continental Hotel was recognized this move by stakeholders in the hospitality industry reaffirms their commitment to excellence and sets a new benchmark for the industry in Africa. Uh, it's, I think the future has to see that the relevant authorities focus on looking into tourism, uh, to develop tourism, and to make Nigeria a country which is easier to access. Uh, and I, I say it straight, with these visa fees, we will have no tourists. Mm -hmm. So people will use a convention and then want to explore the culture. Very few will tell you go in Nigeria that will not complain. Very few. So which means that there's still a big gap. We need to do more, we need to keep growing from staff training, from uh, facility maintenance, our cleanliness, the customer service. Everything. We need to do more. Even our products. A lot of people today not go to hotels and before you know it, food is bad, food is not coming out fine, food is delayed. So there's a lot. We need to do more.